Okay, guys, so we are on book nine, chapter one. And book nine is called Dolphins at Daybreak. Dolphins at Daybreak. Another magic treehouse book. Look at the cover. You can see Jack and Annie are riding on the back of dolphins. Chapter one, Master Librarian. Jack stared out the kitchen window. The sun was not up yet, but the sky was growing lighter. Jack had been awake for a long time. He had been thinking about the dream he'd had, the dream about Morgan Lee Fay. Remember, she's the librarian who has all the magical powers. She was Peanut the Mouse. The treehouse is back, Morgan had said. I'm waiting. That's what she told him in his dream. Jack wished that dream dreams were real. He missed Morgan's magic treehouse. Remember, at the end of the last book, she said that the magic treehouse was going to go away until it was time for it to come back. Jack! His little sister Annie appeared in the doorway. We have to go to the woods now, she, she said. Why? Jack asked. I had a dream about Morgan, exclaimed Annie. She said the treehouse is back and she's waiting for us. That was my dream, said Jack. Oh, wow, said Annie. She told you too? So it must be important. But dreams aren't real, said Jack. Some, some dreams aren't. But this one is, said Annie. I can just feel it. She opened the back door. I'll see you later. Wait, wait, I'm coming, said Jack. So they went. They left their house to get ready to go to the magic tree house to see if it was really there and if the dream came true. He raced up the stairs. Having the same dream must mean something, he thought. He grabbed his backpack and threw his notebook and pencil into it. Then he ran downstairs. We'll be back soon, Mom, Jack called into the living room. Where are you going so early, his dad called. Just for a quick walk, said Jack. Remember, it doesn't matter how long they're gone for because time stays still back in Frog Creek, Pennsylvania. So when they get back, mom and dad are still going to be doing the same thing. It rained last night, called his mom. Don't get your shoes wet. We won't. Jack slipped out the door. Annie was waiting for him. Let's go, she said. The sky was pale gray. The air felt freshly washed. Jack and Annie ran up their quiet street to the Frog Creek Woods. They headed between the trees. Soon, they came to the tallest oak in the woods. Oak is the oak tree. There was a wooden house high in the treetop. The magic tree house. It is back, whispered Jack. Someone looked out the window of the tree house. A lovely old woman with long white hair. Morgan. Lee Fay. Come up, called the magical librarian. Jack and Annie climbed up the rope ladder and into the treehouse. In the dawn night, they stared at Morgan Lee Fay. She looked beautiful in a red velvet robe. Jack pushed his glasses into place. He couldn't stop smiling. We both had dreams about you, said Annie. I know, said Morgan. You do? Yes, I sent them to you, said Morgan, because I need your help. What kind of help, said Jack. Merlin, the magician, has been up to his tricks again, said Morgan. He's the one who turned um, Morgan into a peanut. So I haven't had any time to collect books for Camelot's library. Can we collect them for you, asked Annie. Yes, but in order to gather books through time, you must be master librarians, said Morgan. Oh, well, Annie said sadly. But you could become master librarians, said Morgan, if you pass the test. Really, said Annie. What kind of test, Jack asked. You must show that you know 
how to research, said Morgan, and show that you can find answers to hard questions. How, said Annie. By solving four riddles, said Morgan. She reached into the folds of her robe and pulled out a rolled up paper. The first riddle is written on this ancient scroll, she said. This book will help you find the answers. So we're gonna make the ancient scroll and we are going to make the book. She held out a book. On the cover were the words, Ocean Guide. And that's what we're gonna make. We're gonna make um, the book of an ocean guide of all of the things that we've learned about the ocean. Here is Morgan Lee Fay giving the scroll and the book to Jack and Annie. This is where you have to go, said Morgan. The ocean. Oh boy, said Annie. She pointed at the cover. I wish we... Stop it! Jack grabbed Annie's hand. How will we know if we're if we found the right answer to the riddle, he asked Morgan. You will know, Morgan said mysteriously. I promise you will know. Jack let go of Annie's hand. She pointed again at the cover and finished her wish. I wish we could go there. The wind started to blow. Are you coming with us, Morgan? Jack said. Before Morgan could answer, the treehouse started to spin. Jack squeezed his eyes shut. The tree has spun faster and faster, and everything was still, absolutely still. Jack opened his eyes. Morgan Lee Fay was gone. Only the ancient scroll and the ocean book were left in her place. So, we are going to make the ocean book, and we are going to make a scroll with a secret message. So you can make your own secret message, whatever you want. You can draw the ocean try to figure something out okay whatever you think is going to be on the scroll something in regards of the ocean though and your prediction is going to be do you think that they will find out that magic answer to the riddle do you think they will find the answer to the riddle that's your prediction so I think they will figure out the answer to the riddle because if they don't, I think that they would be stuck in the ocean and I think that they will eventually have to go home. So I think they will figure out the answer. So I'm gonna write, I think they will answer the riddle. I think they will answer the riddle. Notice my lines, some are long, some are short. If my words are short, then um, if my words are small, the lines are short. If my words are long, my lines are longer. I think they will answer the riddle. I, no, oh, I think. Some of us worked on this last week is th think they again is th those are blends i think they will w -w -w -w. answer ah 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 the we know that t h e riddle r -r -r -r. riddle i think they will answer the riddle. What do you think? What is your prediction? That's going to be what you write about today.